Hey guys, welcome to your YouTube channel where we talk all about Kate. Welcome back and we are studying DBMS. In that we are particularly studying the concept of normalization, trying to reach up to there. And for that matter, we have understood the concept of functional dependency in very detailed way. And we have understood the closure of an attribute. Now is the time to understand various types of keys which are very much needed everywhere, whatever uh, chapter or unit you go through the concept of keys is very integrated and it's always needed so um, the closure of an attribute tells you that whatever an attribute can functionally determine what all attribute can be functionally determined with this it shows the power of an attribute that that has been defined in terms of functional dependency by the database designer now that that property or that power of an attribute will be utilized and it will be turned into a key various types of key basically uh, so let's begin the definitions of keys one by one the very first one i go through is a super key uh, let me just read out the definition first of all an attribute or set of attribute which can uniquely identify a tuple is known as super key it looks very similar to us that we have already seen uniquely identify a tuple. Uniquely identify a tuple, what does it actually mean? This is only where the meaning or the, the entire, uh, entire thing is. Uh, uniquely identify a tuple means if, if I give you the value of that attribute, the attribute who is in the question, if I give you the value of that attribute, then you can find out the entire tuple you can you can retrieve the entire tuple where that particular attribute and its value is present like if i say just take a very small example that one two three a b b a and c d okay this is my very small example now if i give you the value of this 2 then I can say that the value of 2 is given to me I can identify this entire tuple okay this is B A because there is no way to reappearing uh, and if I give you the value of 1 it can identify the entire tuple that simply means that particular attribute is unique in all the tuples its value will never repeat it could be a single attribute which is not repeating throughout the relation or it could be the set of attributes and the combination of their values will not repeat ever. That makes the meaning of uniquely identifying a tuple that means they will never repeat in a tuple. And uh, this property basically is known as uniqueness. So I can also say that an attribute or set of attribute which has uniqueness property is known as super key this is it i mean uh, i have seen many people de uh, deviling into the super key definition and they have created so many confusions i will not let you reach to anywhere else it's just as simple as that that any any group of attribute or single attribute or two attributes or three or any number of attributes who can identify a tuple uniquely that means whose values are unique always in the tuples they are nothing but they'll be super keys okay next coming to the next key that is candidate key which is very popularly known as only key an attribute or set of attribute that has two properties one is uniqueness which is directly coming from super key and the second property is minimality that means it, ha it that means every candidate key is super key also because it has a property of being a super key so it has uniqueness which means it can uniquely identify a tuple and minimality that means it is minimal in itself that means it doesn't have any any extra tup any extra attribute it doesn't have any redundant attribute it doesn't have any attribute if I take that attribute out from that group, it is still has a property of being a super key. Such attribute is not present. 
If it is so, if it is minimal in itself, that means if you take out even a single attribute, it won't hold the property of being a super key, then this is known as a candidate key and which is very commonly we popularly call it as only key. So I hope this is very clear. The super key is is not having any minimality property. It can be any number of attributes, even though there can be redundant attributes in this. Okay. And once we take a minimal set of this super key, which, which is minimal and also unique, then it becomes a candidate key. I have give, uh, taken a very small example here to explain it further. Let's take a relation R with three attributes A, B, C and it has a functional dependency which says A to B and B to C. Let me try to find out the super key or the candidate key of the relation. I'm going to make the most use of the closure of an attribute property because I need to identify which attribute can uniquely identify a tuple. Uniquely identifying a tuple means which attribute and its closure has entire relation. This is the basic thing which you need to understand. If an attribute's closure give you the entire relation and then it becomes a super key. And if an attribute or set of attribute gives an entire relation and also it is minimal, then it becomes a candidate key. So let's take that. Let me try to find out the A plus. A plus from here is A definitely. A determines B, so B will be there and B determines C, so with the transitive property C will be there. So A has the capability of determining all A, B, C, right? Now let me try to take out A, B plus. A, B plus will determine itself and from this B determines C, so it will also determine the value of C. Now let me once again try to find out the closure of A, B, C plus. We definitely determine itself. See, there is an intention of mine because of which I have, even after I have got my candidate key at the first hand, I have done AB plus and ABC plus. This A plus says it determines the entire relation. AB plus says that it determines entire relation. ABC plus also says it determines entire relation, which is very obvious and always true for any type of relation. Okay. It determines entire relation. That means it is a super key. Yes, exactly. It is a super key. So it is a super key. Yes, it is a super key. It, det it determines entire relation. So yes, even this is a super key and even this one is a super key. Now comes to the point, come to the point that whether it is a candidate key or not. For being a candidate key, it, it has a super key nature. Also, it has to be minimal. Now you see, is it minimal? Yes, it is a single attribute. It is minimal. You cannot take any attribute out of it. I mean, any proper subset of it, which also becomes a super key. No, not, not such. It, it just has a single attribute. So it is minimal plus unique. So this is super key and this is also candidate key. Now this AB plus, you know very well that if I take a proper subset of AB, if I take a proper subset of AB, that what it can be either A or B, right? Now, from this proper subset, if I take their closures, find out what is A plus ABC, what is B plus BC. So one of the proper subset determines the entire relation. So one of the proper subset is a super key in itself. So if its proper subset is a super key, then this itself cannot be a candidate key. It is naturally a super key because it need not to be minimal, but it cannot be a candidate key because candidate key has to be minimal. So this is super key, but this is not candidate key. Similarly here, because A is here and this is not minimal if I take out the proper subset A that again makes a super key. So this one is also not candidate key. Key. I hope with this very small example, it is very much clear the difference between the super key and the candidate key. Super key will be having the uniqueness property and the candidate key will have the uniqueness plus the minimality property. So as we have understood the concept of uh, super key and the candidate key, which is also known as key, let's move further and understand the another types of key. One is a primary key. 
primary key is nothing but then one of the candidate key selected by database designer is known as primary key. Now you will be wondering one of the candidate key. Why I am calling it as one of the candidate key? Yes, exactly you got me right. One of the candidate key because there can be multiple candidate keys of the same relation. That means we can have multiple candidate keys. There can be many combination of attributes which are minimal and unique. That means they determine all the tuples of the relation uniquely. Also they have the minimal property. So what all candidate keys as a set you have, any one of it is selected by the database designer and considered as the primary key for that relation. So one of the candidate be key becomes the primary key. Alternate key. Every candidate key except the primary key becomes the alternate key. That means all the, all the candidate keys except the primary key, whichever is chosen by the DB designer as the primary key will become the primary. Whichever are not chosen, are not selected, will remain as the alternate keys. Okay. Next comes is a foreign key. Foreign key concept is, is very little complex, but it is not at all difficult. Okay. Uh, I will just read the definition first. An attribute or set of attribute in one relation. I hope this is very clear. Of course, it is. And all of you know that whenever I mention a name relation, that means it is talking about the table. An attribute or set of attribute in one relation that refers to Primary key of same or other relation is known as foreign key. That means an attribute or set of attribute which is referring to the primary key of same table or some other table is known as foreign key. The one who is referring, who will refer is known as foreign key. And whom is it referring? It is referring to the primary key of either the same relation same table or the other relation other table i'll i will give you a very very simple and very common example for this let's have one table which is a department table very popular example the department supposedly out of all the other attributes it has a department number which is the primary key of this relation this is the primary key of this relation it has a department name and it might have some other attributes okay this is the primary key see we generally show the primary key by the underlying way and there is another table suppose if this table is employee table I am taking another table by the name employee. It has employee ID. It has employee name. It has suppose employee age and it has a department ID. Okay. It has a department ID. So employee ID here is a primary key. This one is a primary key of this particular table. If the employee is given a unique employee ID. So this is how the tables are. They have their certain tuples. So here, this department ID will show that this employee is the member of which department or belongs to which department. Likewise, there will be multiple employees in one department and each employee will refer to its own department. Here my point is that this department ID is referring to the department number of this particular table. Because whatever value the department ID can have here can be only followed from here all the departments suppose a company has 10 departments then the detail of all 10 departments will be present here and out of those 10 values only this can be referred and this can refer to only those 10 values so here in this example very clearly DID and uh, whatever attribute is referring need not to have the same name as to whom it is referring. It can have any name. I could make it as department number also and for a change I made it as department ID, DID. Okay. So this is referring to this. So this becomes, DID becomes the foreign key 
of employee table okay similar like this and this becomes the table which is referencing to this table this is the refer table this is the referencing table this is the referencing key uh, attribute and this is the referred attribute you always refer the primary key of another relation or same relation there could be some examples when where, where you refer to the same table so uh, to to make it once again very clear attribute or set of attribute which refers to the primary key of same or the other relation is known as foreign key so once we have understood all the types of keys be it super key candidate key which is properly known as key only primary key alternate key foreign key uh, now just to just two three things i would to tell you one thing is all the super set of key are super keys that means you add zero or more attribute to any candidate key that means any key that turns out to be a super key also i mean here i have just taken uh, just trying to explain that the super key if it becomes a minimal then it becomes a key and a key you make a super set of it that means you add any number of attribute to it then it becomes a super key also the candidate key and super keys can be many in number they the, uh, the candidate keys will have the unique values will have non null values mostly uh, it's it need not to be for all the candidate keys to be uh, non null Uh, but definitely the primary key which will be selected by the db designer will have the non null value because we will see in the integrity constraints that that constraint will be imposed on the primary key that it cannot have the null value but on the alternate keys which are definitely candidate keys they can have the unique constraint because they are candidate keys that means they have the uniqueness property but they need not to be not null uh, certainly by the database designer also uh, candidate key and super key can be composite or single attributed you have seen that the an attribute or set of attribute who has this property all the candidate keys are super keys okay all the candidate keys are super keys but not every super key is a candidate key so every candidate key is a super key but not vice versa because for being a candidate key you need to have the minimal property which may not be present in the super key okay this is it for this video we have explained everything about the keys and its definitions we'll take up very quickly in the next video the all the practice problems and the previous year old gate questions uh, which will make you very clear and strong in finding out the number of candidate keys the number of super keys and also on uh, thank you so much for uh, being here and stay tuned for the next video and do share the video with your friends bye bye